Well, I've walked just a few metres down the riverbank to do a second version of this same bridge, looking down the same canal, Pont de la Gougli. And um, as you can see, I've blocked in the main shapes, the warm sky and water. The ground of the canvas was already a warm, warm grey, so I've put a few cool colours in and I'm just working in now further with those colours just to separate the various houses out, some warmer, some cooler, some will be darker. And that basically is just um, a way of getting down the composition. Often with these location paintings I don't do very much drawing and just allow the drawing to become part of the painting. So everything is discovered um, during the painting rather than drawing something and then in a way colouring it in. focus of the picture again is the bridge so any details that I put on these houses like I am now has to be just to guide your eye around the picture so they have to fall into a rhythm there has to be a balance to those details that um, somehow flow with the canvas flow with the composition and bring your eye and balance the movement of your eye around the canvas taking it from one little observation to another until it arrives at the focal point which is the bridge and then off it goes round again if you were to copy all the windows and architectural details without an awareness of that balance the picture almost certainly would feel awkward and wouldn't feel right. The rhythm and balance of the picture is more important than how accurate it is in relation to the real subject. So it's often better to leave things out to create that balance because you don't want to paint a load of things that aren't there just to create balance because then it wouldn't necessarily look like the subject. So it's a case of knowing what to leave out and what to paint loosely with a loose brush stroke or soft edge and what to paint tightly and sharply and accurately. And that in my case is very, very rare. working some more cool colours into this area now, or the focal area. Working warm against cool is a great way of um, creating energy and life. If something's flat warm or flat cool it, it um, doesn't come to life as well as if you mix the two together as I'm doing here.
So there more or less is the finished picture.